Hello there. How would you like to learn how to use Xilinx Movado Design Suite to finish a design and create a final bitstream file that can be used to program a Xilinx FPGA on the Avidet Ultra 96 development board? I'm John Petrus with MathWorks, and today I'm going to talk about getting started with the Avnet Ultra 96 development board. This is a four part video series, and today my focus is going to be synthesis implementation and programming an FPGA with Xilinx Bovado Design Suite. Here's a diagram of our project workflow that I covered in part one. The blue arrows on the top represent major stages in the project, and the black text in the middle represent the names of products and the companies that offer those products that you'll need for each stage in the project. And today's focus will be programming the FPGA Xilinx Movado Design Suite. I'll provide an overview of Movado. I'll teach you how to perform synthesis, implementation, IO planning, and then ultimately creating a bitstream and programming your device. And then I'll summarize. Movado Design Suite is the main design environment that targets Xilinx FPGAs. It helps you accelerate high-level design, verification, and implementation. And here is the main product page on the Xilinx website for Bovado Design Suite. Here you can find a lot of good documentation, educational videos, and a spot where you can download the 30-day evaluation copy. So let's start up Bovado. We'll open up our project from last time. And in part three, we created a test bench and an IP block and ran both of those and those worked fine. So for this step, we're gonna go into RTL analysis and we're gonna ask the tools to open the elaborated design. And that ran, and here's a graphical view of the package and of the device. The device, uh, you're looking at the actual representation of the die for the FPGA and the package you're looking at uh, IO placement and so forth. So one thing we'll have to change is this table. You see these IO blocks here. We can't use default values. We'll just have to make them standard as I'm doing here. And we'll have to do that for each individual signal. So all of the IO have been changed from default to standard. And now we can go down the flow navigator to synthesis and we'll go ahead and run that. This takes a while, so I'll go ahead and pause and come back when the synthesis is done. We're back, and it looks like synthesis successfully completed. And the next thing we'll want to do is auto place IO ports. There's a wizard within a Bovado design suite, and it'll do that for us. So that finished. And finally, we'll ask it to fix ports. And you can see in the table, it's confirming the, the ports are fixed. Another step we can do now is uh, go and do post-synthesis functional simulation. So this is using the detail data from your device and from your package and re-simulating and just making sure your results match the previous behavioral simulation. And it looked like the post-synthesis simulation ran okay. So we're ready for the next step. So we'll go down to implementation and we'll ask it to run implementation. And this takes a while, so I will go ahead and pause it. And implementation successfully completed. And you get a graphical view of the device. So this is where our resources were put down within the die on the device and how the package IO were mapped and grouped. So now we're ready to create our final bitstream. And the bitstream was successful. So we now have our Ultra 96 board powered up and connected to our host PC. Open the target, auto connect. So it's now linked to our board. 
and I'll ask it to program our device. And it looks like that finished okay. So now our color detection algorithm is actually inside of the Xilinx FPGA now on our Ultra 96 board. So let's go ahead and summarize. In this video, I showed you how to program an FPGA using the software design tool Xilinx Bovado Design Suite and using the hardware from Avnet, the Ultra 96 board. We perform synthesis, implementation, programming with an FPGA using the Bovado Design Suite. Good luck with your next project, and thank you for listening.